Greetings, Skeechling. Skeech and Prime here with my live reaction of The Promised Neverland, Chapter 138. Uh, let's see. Ooh, we got a color page this week. Um, uh, the, ooh, they sold, or Jump made it to 12 million copies sold. I'm not sure if that... Oh, maybe that is for the, uh, just this series? Hmm. Those tracks showed the way towards hope. Okay, maybe we're actually going to get some Don and Gelded this chapter because they're on the cover. As I mean, if they don't get involvement in this, it really wasted the potential of their characters. Um, the search for the demons won. Oh, okay, well that, that definitely almost proves it, right? That they're going to be at least in the chapter at some point. And this, this is Vincent, right? I always forget some of the Inner Circle's names. Um, mostly just him and that one dude. What are you doing? He's like dropping demon blood into some kind of liquid? On one more move in the perfect strategy. Is it ready? Okay, another dude I don't really remember his name. It is. Yes, don't ever say his name so I can maybe get a refresher. The boss is in an astound or is an astounding genius. No, that vulgar word doesn't even come close. He's above that. Hmm. Huh. Nothing that exists can compare to him in greatness, nobility, or perfection. Well perfection would have worked in its entirety, but okay. So he's a perfect cell in your mind then. <laughs> Hey, now it's all good, right? What are you guys doing? Like, what did you, what is that? Is it just a box or is it a cage? Nah, it's nothing. Forget it. What, what is going on? Uh-oh, he's feeding it to rats, whatever it was. I think it was like, it looked like meat. Are they trying to make demons or something out of, out of animals? I wonder if the girl with cursed blood will be found. Oh, she will. The boss even managed to smoke out the elusive Galan. Can we kill her? She will die. Tr just trust the boss on this. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a demon rat. Okay. I, I don't know why I thought it was just regular rat. <laughs> uh, oh, it looks like it's transforming. Experiment complete or successful. His plan is proceeding without a hitch. Okay, and you got his group with all the Anna or the Anna. Why did I say Anna? <laughs> I I meant Adam looking guys, and you got Zazi. I think Barbara was with him, so though you don't see her in this panel. The royal capital, the cursed blood girl. Okay, and there's uh, Gillan or Jalan, Gillan, mm, Gillan. Um, <clears throat> everything is already taken care of. Okay, but what did you do to that demon rat? Okay, and there's the demon girl, the one who I don't think we've gotten a name on her yet. It's been a few chapters. Um, she's leading the way with her little wolf pack. And Don and Gelda. We have Norman's map. Icy, or Aishi. That was her name. Oh, God. Um, I, I think the one translation I read did not actually have her name spelt a certain way. And maybe that's why I'm forgetting it. <sighs> and the dogs are also helping to search. Hey, there it is, and I swear I don't ever remember this boy's name. He's the one that was really fat. It begins with H. Um, footprints. Thanks to them, we found signs of demons in the secret route where no demons should be. And if there are from, and if these are from Sungju and Musica, but these are not right. Wait, they're not. Oh crap, then what are they? <laughs> Who are they? 
They're, they're too big to be for music and too small for sundew. And these seem to have no effort at all to be uh, disguised. Or, bah, I need to reread this. And there seems to have been no effort at all to disguise them. What's more, if they looked closely, or if you look closely, they're uh, walking on all fours. This must be from a small wild demon. Oh, okay. Doggo is a barking. Here it is. Now we found a campfire. You could have found that on your own. <laughs> I mean, it was just a little further away, wasn't it? Or is this like a time lapse? Like there's, like say, minutes in between panels, maybe. Okay, Don's checking out. These are human bones, so it can't be Sunju's group. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> I mean, presumably not when music is around, but I mean, he did seem a little intrigued to get back into the human hunting, you know? Um, you two are awesome. You really know it all. It's so cool. He's so happy. <laughs> Er, uh, nah. Uh, Aishi and the dogs are doing all the work. They don't miss a clue, no matter how small and subtle. Things that we'd certainly miss. But, well, I don't think you would have missed that that fire, though. Because, I mean, it was still there. You know, like if it was just... Ooh. Excuse me. If it was just the ashes or something, like, maybe. Because the wind would have blown them and scattered them, and it wouldn't be, like, a neat little pile. But, like, it... With the human bones? Yeah. <laughs> uh, things that we certainly miss or we uh, take forever to find, they got it once, and they're eating fish. And she's eating it straight off the bone, which... Oh, God, that... No. Um... And she's even an expert marksman, right? Yes, she's the best shot out of the entire group. After the boss saved her, she started to learn and improved super fast. Okay, showing Vincent and Barbara, and she, they're on the gun range with Aishi. Uh, by now, she can shoot a target this small <laughs> from very far uh, with 100% accuracy. And like, this small, yeah. <laughs> Another Yugo. <laughs> Someone call me. Oh, <laughs> I wish. Um, for real. Her five senses are unbelievably sharp. I'm not sure how. Sight, hearing, smell, and she noticed something. Oh, she's drawing her weapon, and oh, it's a it was a spider. Fuck you, spider. Um. It looks like if Beetlejuice turned into a spider, because it's striped. It's venomous. See? Uh, thank you. And Don's kind of freaking out. God, his eyes. Um, the ideal travel escort, isn't she? Perfect for search, perfect for security, perfect for assassination, and also for keeping watch on us. Ah, so they're realizing why she was assigned. Um, also, the, yeah, the doggo there, he, he, he kind of, he's like, I'm watching you. You best not piss me off. I bite. Um, no openings whatsoever. The dogs and this woman won't uh, miss an eye blink. I wonder if we can even help them. Sanju, Musica. Eh, uh, to hell with that. The right question is, how do we save them? You're right, sorry. And she's like, boop, boop. <laughs> uh, well, Sanju is always close to Musica. Uh, as long as he's around, I very much doubt they can be killed that easily. Although, we really need to communicate with her somehow. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't seem to talk, so... And except in demon speak. Because <laughs> she's going. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, I can understand human language, and she's only interested in talking to the dogs. 
or she can't understand it. My bad. Um, but this challenge only gets me fired up. I'll work to make up or make us understand one another. Here goes nothing. Okay, Don, what are you going to do? Operation Friendship. And the dogs are chasing him. Total failure. Well, that, that was a short operation. Okay, they're scaling some cliffs. Tomorrow for sure. Yes. <laughs> they're like just curled up in their ba their sleeping bags and it's like tomorrow for sure. We'll we'll find them. It's like, yeah. <laughs> She's keeping a watch on them. Oh, these are di different footprints. More tracks. All all of them are from wild demons, aren't they? It's getting dangerous. I think the nest must be close to here. Oh, oh god, whatever his I wish I could remember his name. I suck at names more than anything else. Um, well, I suck at forgetting certain events, too, but the names, like, it just, I, we haven't been around him as long, and it's just, I don't know. Anyway, so he's freaking out going, yikes. Um, sorry about the ice maker, I swear, this morning in reactions. Um, if we keep going in this direction, we'll get close to town. Let's go back and the way we came. Towns are dangerous too. Oh, and the doggos are uh, reacting to something and she's noticed it. Or maybe she noticed the freaking dogs barking. What's up? That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, that something's up. Oh, crap. He's about to die from a demon. I'm about to bite your head off. Run! <laughs> we have to avoid the demons, but we are also searching for them. It's pretty hard. That's pretty hard. A demon! He was mimicking tree bark. Hayato, I was at least right that he begins with an H. <laughs> uh, Hayato! Huh? Ah! <laughs> okay, she's starting to shoot. Don's throwing a rock. And what? She. She lo looks like. Aishi looks like she's freaking out. What is she having a Vietnam flashback or something? I don't know what's going on. Um, okay, so there, Dawn's kind of leading it away now. Okay, the others got away. Thank you so much, Hayato. He's just like clinging on Dawn. So Dawn did circle back around, I'm guessing. And I'm so glad you're not hurt. But why put yourself in danger like that? You could have died. It would have been much simpler and faster to just kill it. Well, it was just one, and it's easy to escape in this terrain. The guns are too loud, and our ammo is limited. I mean, he, he brings up some good points. You would have drawn in probably more demons, and you would have, if you missed on, if it takes more than one shot, you're wasting ammo. So, and also our safety long term or yeah long term depends on not leaving tracks especially signs of human activity then just kill them with bows yeah but i think it's uh best to avoid killing them uh when we can <laughs> uh i think he's kind of picking up a little bit from emma on that i'll i'll go gather firewood for the fire or wood for the fire. Why did I say firewood? If it, is, I, if it just said, I'll go gather firewood, would have been fine. But no, gather firewood for the fire. Really? I thought you were going to get water wood. Um, uh, be careful, Hayato. As you almost died today. Um, hey, Don, earlier today, did you notice it? Hmm? Those tracks, it looked like the ones of that one. Very much so. <clears throat> what tracks? That horse, oh, the horse that was with Sunju and Musica. No way. It's so soon. And we already have a lead? It's not certain yet. It could be another horse, but... I mean, sure. <laughs> oh, what do we do? If it's really that... You know, she can probably hear you. You're, like, right on top of her. Um, we'll find them soon. We won't let them be killed, and for that, what we must do is... Right, Don, we... Uh-oh, she heard you. Words break the silence and all certainty. 
I see you two are planning to let her escape. She can speak English. <laughs> uh, I mean, she's probably been hearing. I mean, the demons can speak English. So they probably spoke English at some point in front of her. Or maybe she's been picking it up along the way since she's been in Norman's group. You know, like kind of playing dumb. You know, and then it's like, hmm, yes, yeah, so I, I hear you all talking. I'm like a sponge. I'm absorbing it all. Um, but yeah, so she knows kind of what they're they're going on about now, which is bad. And the Promised Neverland chapter one thirty eight end. Okay, <laughs> a little bit of a shock ending there, I have to say. Um, really, I'm wondering if it's just like she's always known how to speak English, though that's less than likely, but. I think it's more likely that either Norman maybe taught her, you know, private lessons or somebody did, or she was just picking it up, you know, like osmosis. Like, once you learn some of the basics of a language and then you're around a bunch of people who are speaking it, you kind of start to fill in the blanks over time. And, uh, I mean, that's how, like, children learn how to speak. It's how, like, say if you come from another country and you, like, come to America, let's say, and then you're watching a lot of people use Sesame Street as a thing. It's like, okay, the children were learning how to like learn English at the same time that they, you know, were still learning their own original language. So as they were growing up, they were watching Sesame Street and learning English. And then like they end up teaching their parents how to speak English as well, which is interesting and a, a nice little bit that people have apparently done more than once. Um so it's an interesting story, and uh, yeah, but I'm wondering if she might have done the same thing in a way, you know, like after you hear it, like I mentioned before, like if you hear a bunch of people speaking it, and you start filling in the blanks yourself, maybe, but I don't know. Um, let me know what your thoughts on the chapter were, anything I might miss, misunderstood. Uh, we might get close to music in the next chapter, who knows? I'm glad that we're actually getting to see the Don and Geld a bit, though. So that was a big worry. Hopefully we get to stay with them for a chapter or two. Because um, the whole thing with the seven walls, that's kind of wrapping up. So we need more character development for them, if nothing else. Um, so yeah, if, if the main plot gets put on the back burner for a little bit, I'm okay with it. Because Don and Gelda are second best group. <laughs> you know, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, but yeah, like I said, let me know what you thought. Anything I might have missed, misunderstood, let me know. And uh, yeah, until next time. Oh, uh, I stream on Twitch three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Upload on the next day in the cycle. Um, my, uh, my Hero Academia reaction will be up by now, so give that a watch too if you are a fan of the series. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, here's where you can find me. Links down below. Until next time, Keyshlings, roll out!